Stafford Gets Stuck A Thomas and Friends Story Spencer, the snooty silver engine, had been chosen to show a new shunting engine around Sodor. The engine's name was Stafford. Stafford was special. He was an electric engine. He had a battery. I know all about batteries, boasted Spencer. First, I will take you to Sodor Search and Rescue, Centre, said Spencer. He wished grandly away, with Stafford following close behind. But halfway there, Stafford's battery ran out, and he rolled to a stop. Spencer steamed into the search and rescue centre. I bring you Stafford, the electric shunting engine, he boomed. The rescue team looked behind Spencer. Stafford wasn't there. Spencer felt very silly. Spencer steamed back the way he had come and found Stafford in a siding, having his battery charged. Batteries run out, Stafford tried to explain, but Spencer wasn't listening. I know all about batteries, he boasted. Misty Island awaits. Spencer whooshed away with Stafford close behind, but Misty Island was a long way away. Stafford's battery ran down, and once again he came to a stop. Spencer rolled into the Misty Island logging station. I bring you Stafford, the electric shunting engine, Spencer boomed. But the logging locos laughed at him. Stafford wasn't there. Spencer felt even sillier. Spencer went back and found Stafford having his battery charged again. Batteries run down, Stafford tried to explain, but Spencer still didn't listen. The Duke and Duchess of Boxford are waiting for us, said Spencer, and he sped away with Stafford behind him. But Stafford's battery ran down again. Spencer whooshed into Boxford Station. I bring you Stafford, the electric shunting engine, he boomed to the Duke and Duchess. But Stafford wasn't there. His battery must have run down, said the Duke. Spencer felt sillier than ever. Spencer took the Duke and Duchess to find Stafford. They were thrilled to see such a splendid little engine. But the Duke and Duchess couldn't stay long. They had to meet the Fat Controller at Knapford. Pump your pistons, Spencer, said the Duke. But Spencer's pistons wouldn't pump. He had used up all his coal making such long journeys. Luckily, Stafford's battery had been fully charged. He was happy to shunt Spencer to Knapford. Everyone at Knapford was excited to meet Stafford the electric shunting engine. The Fat Controller was especially pleased. Stafford had not been on Sodor for long, but he had already shown he was a really useful engine. And Spencer had learned all about batteries. The end.